This is Together Goshen Day, and I'm Caleb Longenecker Fox with the Alumni Office. Excited to have Jan Bender Shetler here with us. Jan, thanks for joining. Yeah, good to be here. So, Jan, I wanted to first say congratulations. You just you've been a long-term faculty member at the History Department and, and a legend among faculty, um, various roles. You've just this past year moved into the international ed director's role. How are things going for you? Is, uh, this spring, there, <laughs> a lot of things happened. And can you give us uh, some insight on how the COVID situation has affected intercultural and international education at GC? Wow, yeah, what a year to <laughs> take up this role. Amazing, I mean, unprecedented in Goshen history. And here we are. Um, yes, back in March, we had a full group of students in Ecuador and a group of students in Tanzania. And uh, as things progressed in March, it was pretty clear we had to, we had to get them home quickly. Um, and so started moving them out, but only just in the nick of time, the bringing, and they were on service. So bringing students back from service in Ecuador, barely getting them to Quito before um, you couldn't travel in the country anymore. And then trying to find them planes home when everything was canceled. Uh, in Tanzania, too, trying to move them all the way from the Mara region down to Dar es Salaam. So it was a crazy bunch of stuff, but we got them home and, um, yeah, just sent them all directly to their home communities. And I'm so grateful uh, for all the support we got. In the end, in Ecuador, we were getting alumni and parents to, you know, call their senators and... <laughs> call their representatives and try to get a flight coming out of Ecuador. So that was really crazy. <laughs> wow, that, that's amazing. And yeah. 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 And so, yeah, so then all of a sudden we've, we've now, can, we canceled our, our international May terms, our off-campus May terms. We canceled, canceled Senegal and Ecuador in the summer and China and, um, and Ecuador in the fall. And so, wow, it's just like, yeah, things are really different now. Some of our seniors are sort of scrambling to figure out, you know, they thought SST was the last thing they do this summer. Oh, I see. Yeah, but we're, what we're doing, I think like a lot of people at Goshen, is we're trying to figure out how to make an opportunity out of this. So last year, we um, had a whole process in evaluating SST and why the percentage of students going on SST is going down. And we decided we needed all kinds of new options, um, maybe shorter term experiences, some in the US, um, sort of a, a bunch of new forms. And we have some of those ready to go next year, but this pushed us even further. So um, yeah, we've got some, I think some exciting new things in response to COVID, but also just in response to, I think what we need to do in SST. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you mentioned a little bit last year was the 50th year of SST program at GC. And I know that there was a lot of brain power that went into thinking creatively about what's next. I know that um, I've heard coming out of the international ed office that you had some, while there are some changes for programming next year, you also have some new things coming through. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we're, we're putting through some new kinds of curriculum, um, really trying to focus on our learning goals so the learning goals are the same, whether you go internationally or not, whether you go long-term or not. Um, in the fall, we have Judy uh, Weaver and Richard Aguirre, who would have been in Ecuador this fall, are going to do a whole semester right here locally, an SST semester on refugees and immigrants in Northern Indiana. And they're gonna be traveling around, visiting people, doing some service, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really exciting, and I think it's the wave of the future as we adjust to like a new post-COVID world. Absolutely, and yeah, I can see 
there's so much benefit. The diversity that's here in Elkhart County, even, you know, having students experience some of those intercultural dynamics and, and learning experiences can be found right here in our backyard, I think, Ethan, too. Yeah, that's right. And this, this next summer, a year from now, uh, we're going to take some students out to Native American reservations, Hopi and Navajo, do some work out there. We're going to take students to work with Mennonite Disaster Service, um, maybe in Puerto Rico, maybe in Florida, wherever, wherever they are going to be at that time. Um, we're going to, Gerald Ross Richard is going to take a group to per, back to Peru again. So there's some, some neat things happening as well as some more local May terms that are going to work at some of these issues. So I think we've got some good things going. Um, I'm more convinced now than ever in this time of COVID that, um, that we need we need internet, we need intercultural education because what you see all over the news is people being distrustful of foreigners and others and wanting to sort of hunker down and be separate and the kind of world we envision that, um, that is all of us together. I think we have to fight even, even more for that kind of a world. A great sentiment for Together Goshen Day and, and standing in solidarity with one another. Jan, thanks so much for joining us today and hope you have a wonderful rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.